Republic Airways Holdings inched a step closer to a potential bankruptcy filing today after Teamsters and local leaders backed a decision not to send a proposed labor deal to pilots for a vote. In late August, the Indiana-based Republic made what it called its last, best, and final offer to resolve a standoff with pilots. If the pilots did not accept the offer, Republic management noted that the alternative path is to see non-consensual restructuring. Local union officials decided not to send the latest offer to its members because of language that would have handcuffed future union communications with pilots, despite higher wages and contained health care costs in the revised offer. Republic flies small jets for partner airlines including Delta, United Continental, and American Airlines. The company has been at odds with its pilots for more than seven years. Its members voted to reject a tentative contract in 2014, and the issue has made it harder to find enough pilots to cover schedules. The deal's Lou Whiteman will be closely following the situation. In New York, I'm Laura Cooper for The Deal.